just look at that I just gave that bad baby a bath and a full body wax and I'm telling you she was one dirty van <laughs> Right, welcome back party people. Look at the top up there. And it's it's actually been a couple of days since I did it, so it's already rained, but uh, she's clean for now. This is a 2019 van, I got it in March. And you know, I've washed it off a few times, but, and waxed it when I first got it, but I just, uh, this is what, two years and a few months later, and uh, just getting around to actually giving it another clean and wax. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how to actually clean your van. When you have a van that's, you know, eight foot six at the tallest point, that in itself is a challenge because you're going to have to get on top of the van to clean it. That is going to be the dirtiest place on the van usually. Other than the undercarriage, the top is going to be filthy because, you know, we're all, all the time camping and driving on dirt roads and uh, parking under trees. The top is relatively flat and so whenever it rains things just kind of sit and settle up there and uh, you'll be able to tell it You're, you can look at your lap sealant that's sealing all of the uh, the holes that you have in the top around any any uh, cable glands and your fans you'll be able to tell it uh, they will be probably black today I'm gonna share with you some tools and cleaners that I found that makes this job a lot easier because let me tell you nobody really wants to get on top of a van unless you've got you know a cage up there with some seats and a nice uh, staircase to get up there not all cleaners and not all tools are created equal and they're certainly not priced equal so i'm going to go over some options that i've researched and found that work the best for cleaning vans like this first thing you want to do if you have a driveway sloped like my driveway you want to get the van as level as possible and i do that by backing up on these uh on these plastic ramps here so that kind of gets me somewhat level it's not totally level but it's level enough and then also build you a little platform that you can put a ladder on uh, that will get you level as well that's going to give you the best platform to actually put your ladder on and uh, feel confident that you can get on top and stretch and reach and uh, not take a tumble off a ladder all right the first thing you want to do is buy a brush head like this this is a very soft brush i like brushes better than microfiber heads because the brush allows the dirt to kind of drain down and you're not pressing the dirt up against the van these are very soft bristles you can find brush heads like this on amazon and probably in stores as well it has a acme three quarter inch female thread into it and that allows you to thread any painter's pole mop head any pole that you can find at your local hardware store a big box store walmart wherever you may go a head like this this is one that's adjustable from four foot to eight foot I find somewhere between six and seven foot is about all I want to extend this. Otherwise it starts to bow a bit. I like the push button ones because they tend not to, uh, to move on you. Some of the screw ones, they get loose and then you're, you're trying to wash and the next thing you know your pole drops in like that. So I like these push button types that has the little ball clips. The first thing you want to do when you get one of these heads like this, is you're going to want to drill a hole all the way through and then put you a set screw in it. And tighten that set screw down that's going to keep that head from unwinding on you as you're washing your vehicle and that's going to help out a lot because that will nothing more frustrating than trying to reach and you're trying to wash and you put a little bit more pressure on this side over here and it tries to unscrew on you so you want to make sure you get that set screw in there and that's going to give you a good solid head the second head i would suggest is something like this window cleaner here you can notice i have a set screw drilled into there as well and i use this and not only do I use this to clean my windows because it's easy to kind of get to and squeegee, just is just like the cleaners you see at the uh, at the truck stops, the ones with the long handles. And not only do I use this to clean my windows, but when I'm applying or trying to take off wax from the top of the van where I, or, or parts that I can't reach, I fold up a microfiber cloth and I just lay it across the squeegee like this and that allows me to get in there and actually apply wax or remove wax or clean or whatever I need to do. All right, I'm gonna wait to cover how I get to the top of the van for last, so hopefully it'll quit raining. But uh, next thing I'm gonna do is go over some cleaners. Not all cleaners are created equal. 
You can spend a lot of money getting a lot of cleaners that say they do a lot of different things, but I've tried a bunch of those, and the cleaner I find that works the best, especially for a white van or white tops, is this LA's totally awesome for all purpose concentrated cleaner and degreaser and spot remover. You can buy a small, a 32 uh, ounce spray bottle of this in a Dollar General or um, a Dollar Tree, uh, and it's about a dollar. A uh, larger bottle like this is about three dollars. So I take this bottle and it gives you the, the actual mixing chart on the back that depending on what you, you're trying to do. So for for example, if you want to do a car wash, it tells you, you know, mix, the mix ratio is 50 to one, uh, 50 parts water, one part uh, concentrate, and it goes through all kinds of things here. But um, this concentrate, what I'll do is I'll transfer it to a bottle like this, a spray bottle. And sometimes I'll use my Ryobi garden sprayer if I need to spray some places that I can't quite get to, but this one has a good stream on it. This allows me to get on top and actually spray around the lap sealant by the fan and by the cable glands and clean up under the solar panels as well. And this stuff works. Spray it on, leave it on for a minute or so. Don't let it dry in the sun. Uh, agitate it a little bit. And uh, this will get your total. This will clean everything. And it's good for your tires. It's good for your rims. It'll even clean your windshield if you put it on your windshield. So it's a pretty good all-purpose cleaner, and it's the cheapest all-purpose cleaner that I've found that works great. You can find black streak removers, you know, in stores that, you know, are up to $15 a bottle for 32 ounces. This stuff, a dollar a bottle, it works great. It gets your van super clean. You saw the, the, the exterior of the van, and you can use it on everything, the plastics, the glass, the paint, everything, and even uh, rubber just everything so it is definitely totally awesome and I'd recommend it and it's also totally cheap one of the best cleaners I've ever used so another cleaner that I would recommend especially if you're not gonna put on some ceramic wax or some carnival wax or whatever type of wax often is this Aero Cosmetics wash and wax this is a spray on system uh, you can get a kit that comes with the large one gallon bottle here and you can also get this spray bottle this is perfect size for me, and usually I'll fill it up maybe two, three times when I'm doing the van. But this allows me to spray. So what I do is apply this after the wash. So after I wash the van, I'll go back and apply this all over the van. Plastics, rubber, everything. The only thing I don't put it on is the windshield because I use uh, Rain-X on the windshield. But um, spray this on, wipe it off before it dries, and you'll get a nice bead. It's, it's raining and you can see the, the nice beads. I just spray washed this or spray wax this and you can see it beading up off the side there and down the windshield and down the top up there. So I find this stuff works really well. It's not the most expensive and it's not the cheapest. You can get this stuff on Amazon as well, but it works. And uh, usually I'll, I'll use this after every wash, but in reality, I don't wash my van that often. That's only the second time I've done a deep wash on it since I've had the van, and I've probably only washed it or sprayed it off maybe, you know, three or four times, so. All right, so that's kind of the, the cleaners and the tools that you need to actually be able to reach into places you can't get to. All right, so those are the cleaners and also some of the tools I use to reach and get to all those bits on the van, but also what I wanna talk about is how to access the top of the van you want to be able to check on things you want to be able to clean it regularly you want to be able to inspect it and make sure you have no leaks so you got to be able to access the top of your van so that's when you want to find yourself a good ladder so this is a costco ladder i bought this ladder at walmart and you can sometimes you can find these on sale they're usually somewhere between 80 and 90 us dollars and this one says it is an eight and a half feet tall ladder which would give the normal person about 12 foot reach right top of my van is eight and is about eight feet six inches and with a 12 foot reach that gives me enough reach to reach all the way across the the van using this ladder but i want to show you a few things you need to be careful about when you get a ladder like this this is a telescoping ladder these are great they're small for storage in case you want to store it inside the van but like I said, you want to make sure you're working on a level surface so that this ladder has the best opportunity to remain 
vertical and your butt does not fall off the ladder. So I would suggest buying yourself a pool noodle and you can go to a Dollar Tree or anywhere and find these pool noodles and just take a razor blade and split this pool noodle, pool noodle in half and you're going to want to just slide it right on the edge of this ladder here at the top and that's going to give you something that looks like this and this surface here grips really well to the side of the van and that's the surface we're going to actually rely on to keep us stable when the ladder is up so I'm going to take this ladder out to the van. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'll show you where to actually place this because not all parts of the side of the van are created equal. There are softer areas on the van. Obviously, the, the, the big, large side of the van is not a great place to be leaning up against. I'll show you where on the van you can lean this ladder against to minimize any damage or dents to your van. All right, so let's walk out to the van, take a look. I think it's quit raining enough. I want to kind of shoot for that ridge line up there. See this part here? All right, just a uh, couple of notes about this ladder here. You want to make sure when you extend these telescoping ladders, they've got these green indicators here. You want to make sure they're all green all the way up the ladder. Each one of those needs to be green. Otherwise, you're in the risk of uh, the ladder collapsing while you're on it. So just keep that in mind but you can kind of see where i have this ladder situated here see it's, this part of the van up there is uh is so it has the most rigidity and that pool noodle you get the full length of that pool, pool noodle so it won't fly this much if you think you need more you can always build a two by four or two by six across the bottom here to give it some side to side stability but um as with most ladders, you want to be, you know, your feet at the bottom and you want to be a arm's length distance away. This ladder just works for me, so it's uh, pretty stable. So you're pretty safe if you stay on that, uh, on that part of the, the roof up there. You can bet that uh, that's a safe bet as far as climbing up on the top. And this ladder is just tall enough for me to, uh, by the way, they make uh, stronger versions. As well but this is just tall enough for me to get up here and lean around do anything I want to do I can even go up another step if I want to but I actually don't need to I can get more than halfway of the solar panels I can reach anything on top now that part of the roof goes all the way around same thing at the back of the van and all the way around the other side so you can you can put this ladder on the back and on either side all right I hope this helps watching this van has always been a pain and I've never looked forward to doing it um, but having these uh, tools and cleaners have made this job way easier than it has been in the past. So I uh, hope some of this information helped you out. And uh, we're going to wrap this video up here. So I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, skill up and ride, van up and go. And, well, G-Money's not here. So I'm going to say it for everybody needs a plan B. Ciao, ciao for now.